Hi. So, I apologize in advance for this audio quality in the first part of this vlog that I am considering putting together because I get asked a lot about what my time management advice is or how I manage my time, how I manage to do so many things because recently, you probably know by now, but you could be new here, in July I started a charity and now I have been doing two YouTube channels, not only my YouTube, I also started a video series on Together with Classical, my charity's name, episodes where I talk to all kinds of people who love classical music. I just talked to a celebrity actor in Philippines. Hi. Hi. What? So I have a lot going on. Also, you know, piano. Right, the piano. I've been practicing two Mozart concertos for the live stream concert on Dreamstage, December 5th. Remember Dreamstage? You're the reason that I got invited back, and you're the reason that I asked them to lower the ticket price. So please, this is the time to show your support. Thank you and see you in a month. I have to practice. Although this morning I got a text from my manager that my Salzburg performance has been postponed to December. It was supposed to be in 12 days. So now I will be focusing solely on Mozart concertos, which is good. I'm glad finally I got the yes or no confirmation because for the entire month of October, I didn't really know how to practice because I had a feeling it wasn't going to happen, but I also didn't want to be arrogant and just end up getting in trouble if I don't keep it in my fingers. So I still wanted to keep it in my fingers just in case it does happen, but clearly, whoops, clearly, the um, coronavirus situation has gone so much worse in Europe. So I hope you're doing well. I hope you are staying safe, you and your family and your friends. Long story short, I thought I would just show you what my busy day is like, what I do, and maybe it'll give you a practical sense of how I manage everything. Also, I am sorry that I could not film the first two hours of my day because this morning it was just so many things I needed to do I had to redo my vlog for like the fourth time since I heard about this news with Salzburg. I needed to fix some captions, then I had to re-export it, upload it again, and then since it isn't official news, I had to redo the captions once more and not leak anything that I wasn't supposed to, but anyway. I did that in the morning. I woke up at 7 and then lied around until 7.30, started looking around on social media, checking my phone, saw the text, redid the vlog. I had to set this up for the classical chats and yeah, that's basically what I needed to do but then my internet wasn't working so I had to restart my router like 5 minutes before the Zoom I basically just wanted to record this clip oh no, it's 9.01, I'm late, hold on ah, chaos and so it was just a lot of things oh, I also had breakfast today is just a very unusual day like I'm not drinking coffee, I'm drinking milk tea this happens once every 20 days maybe but today is just a very unusual day but i think it will show you in the most realistic way of how i manage everything because it's not every day that i do this many things but this is also a possible day in my life i have 13 minutes before the next zoom the next classical chats episode please go subscribe i'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and we've had very interesting guests. You might hear one confirmed guest today from me here in this vlog if I hear back from her, which is exciting. One minute, so I have to do that, but I want to post this now. I just need to add some question marks and then I will jump on to the... Crap, all of my redoing of the vlog messed up the audio track. And uh, now I have syncing problems, but I have to jump on the classical chats. Ah, crap. Hi. Hi. 10.40. Second classical chat done. Now I have to fix my YouTube video. This is the reason that my audio didn't sync. Because of this gap. I don't know why there's a gap. Ah, that screwed up my export. Ah. Also... Side tip, for about a year, my laptop has been very slow. How I solved the issue was by getting the dust out from inside a laptop. So fast. I was afraid I would have to spend thousands of dollars on a new computer this year. It looks like I don't have to. I think it can live for another year. Let's hope I don't jinx this. Knock on wood. Thank you so much. See you soon.
done! Now I have five minutes to change to a different outfit or a different sweater and uh, post my YouTube video. I just got a copyright claim. Um, what? This is just practicing. Well, they better release it. Classical chat. Third one. It's the last one with the audience right now. But I made it. I did the video in time. Woo! So, I don't know if he's having issues coming into the zoo, but I'm gonna do an Instagram now. Why not? Good morning, happy Friday, or good evening. I posted a new vlog, practice vlog, and I shot this in my pajamas. Swipe up. Hi, Tiffany. Hi! 11... 40? Not yet. 39. And I'm done! Actually, no, I'm not done. I have to now film the intro, outro for this episode, go back to my first episode uh, of today's outfit to film the intro, outro, then I'm done for the tech stuff. Then I will actually go practice some Mozart. Yes. How many minutes a day do I spend trying to get my bangs to sit properly, you know? Speaking of time management, Okay, back to shooting. Video series called Pla. <laughs> Welcome to Classical Chats. Also the host of this series, Beep. I talk to all kinds of people who love classical music. Eleven fifty-seven. I'm done filming. Woohoo! It's around noon right now, and I am taking a break to just read through the comments and see how it's doing, how you're doing, whether you're liking the video or not. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I'm gonna chill for a bit and I'll probably check back in at one. I will eat something and I'll see you at the piano in an hour. What does Tiffany do when she chills? No pun intended, I didn't mean this, but I am finding holes in my apartment to fill out. There's like a huge wind draft here in my heater AC unit. Mm, I'm tired. I took a nap and uh, I then end up <laughs> returning to piano at one, as I had thought. Which always happens, to be honest, which is fine. In retrospect, why did I not give myself a longer break? So I gave myself technically a three hour break. But in that break, I was taping my windows. And um, also doing a little bit miscellaneous work for Together With Classical, the YouTube. Came up with some ideas for YouTube. But that always happens whenever I'm just chilling around watching YouTube videos. I come up with ideas. So, is that really work? I don't think so. But then I took a nap. And now I'm here looking at the score. Eric, the conductor who I'm playing with on Dream Stage on December 5th, I am seeing his markups for one of the two concertos that we're going to be playing by Mozart. And I have never seen this before. I don't know what his ideas are. I don't know what his temple desires are because I never ever, well maybe not ever, but I almost never decide on tempo with a metronome. Actually, I've only done that for chamber music. So I guess now we're doing it for concertos, which makes sense because we need a reference point. Will our reference point match? Let's find out. Eric's marking here like here it's nice to see that it lines up with my phrasing so the fact that he marked these accents they're not really you know loud accents but more of an emphasis it makes sense that he understands this to be an interesting thing to highlight in terms of the direction of the phrase and I like seeing this interesting sometimes I have opposite but maybe it's a good way. Hmm. 
Okay, see here, I thought of this as more of a subito situation rather than a diminuendo. Wow. Huh? I can go opposite. That could work. Interesting. I think our energy, personality-wise, I think he has much more energy than I do <laughs> in general. So I think he has a more uh, spirited, faster tempo than I originally would think so. But I'm also glad he sent me these markings because it makes me realize that I sometimes just play a little bit too slow. Look how pretty the clouds are! This is my practice view. Wow! Okay, I got excited. Back to practicing. Guess what? Remember earlier today I told you I might be able to tell you something kind of cool, kind of exciting? Well, the person who I'm going to have as a guest on Classical Chats is Midori. I grew up watching her on television. I just got the email. She's going to be on an episode of Classical Chats and talk about all the amazing things she does. Fun fact, we had a cake. And coffee together. It was my first time out eating during the pandemic. I think it was in... Clouds are gone. It's close to 5 p.m. now. I'm going to run the next Mozart concerto, the E-flat one. I'm getting sleepy, so I probably won't practice too much. Um, my break from practice was actually work. <laughs> uh, I had to reply some emails and write some emails, but... Finally done redoing some designs for the merch for my charity and still haven't solved my issues with 
trying to figure out how to give away tickets and set up a whole system because of all the legal possible liabilities. <sighs> anyway, um, it takes me forever to do merch designs. <laughs> and it's almost 10 p.m. So I think I want to end the talking portions of this vlog. You kind of see what I do in a day. But this is an abnormal day. This is more of a work day. And um, I should take a shower, eat dinner, probably watch an episode or two of something, and sleep. I didn't mean to work this late. I don't usually eat dinner past 10 p.m. Not encouraging that. <laughs> Be kind. Keep striving. <laughs> I just spent like an hour and a half <laughs> putting that logo everywhere, so I should know to say that. But 